Hello by the programmers. So this is video 5th of our Arsena first person shooter game using Python. And in this video, we'll discuss how to create a fully furnished room with different 3D elements. Okay, now let me show you a quick demo. Just give me a second. So yeah, by the way, let me quickly explain you that what we have done till now. So uh, we have created this first person view game. Uh, we have also created different weapons in our game. We have created these walls. Uh, we have created this uh, grass and uh, this is what we are going to create in this video. This is the room. This is the different room that we'll be creating. And these are the different 3D elements. We'll first of all start with the Ganesha idol. Everything should start with a Ganesha idol. Then we'll add a bed. And uh, in a later on videos, we'll also add the animation of laying down or sleeping on a bed. Okay. So uh, you can add multiple 3D elements. You can add as many as you want. And yeah, also I have added these two pillars. These are two 3D pillars. So yeah, these are some things that we'll be creating in this video. By the way, all the assets and everything will be provided with the link in the description. Okay, so with this being said, let's get started with our programming. Okay, so we have done till now. We have added uh, all the four sides of the wall. We have added the weapon. Uh, we have added the mechanism to change the weapon with the scroll up and the scroll down from our mouse. And uh, yeah, now let's get started with our room. First of all, let's create uh, the four walls of our room. So just after we have added the right side wall, uh, let's add the wall for our room. Okay. So uh, we'll have three walls for the side borders and two walls for the front border okay and we'll leave one wall space for our door okay then let's place the first element in our room which is the ganesha painting or the ganesha idol so uh, let's do that real quick so yeah now let me quickly explain you that what all these parameters are i guess you already know that how these walls are created we have uh, defined all the parameters in the wall one wall is a entity the parent is the scene the scale is 0 0.002 scale is the size with reference to the original image and uh, this is the position it's a 3d vector then this is the rotation once again it's a 3d vector then we have model the 3d uh, image file then we have the texture okay what will be the texture of our 3d image then we have what type of collider it is we want a box collider we have multiple types of colliders like we have mesh collider we have box collider we have all types of colliders also i'll provide the link for ursina official page you can check out from there also but there are not many projects on ursina it's really hard even for me to find examples so yeah just wanted to point that out uh Anyway, so uh, this was the wall. Then we are duplicating the walls. We have already created the four sides of our uh, scene or our total playing area wall. As you can see the right side wall, the back wall, uh, the left side wall and the front wall. These are all the four sides of our playing area. Okay, these five are for the room. As you can see, we have only changed the position vector okay and we have also said that okay this is also double sided okay because we are seeing both the front and back side of the room so yeah we want the texture on both the front and the back side okay this is for texture okay uh then yeah for the front side we also want the rotation to be changed okay then for the painting once again all the obj files will be provided with the link in the description you can check that out from there let me quickly explain you all the parameters here once again it's a entity it is 
on the parent scene scale is 0.06 now scale can vary depending on the size of your uh, 3d image and what scale scene you want to create okay this is the position vector this is the rotation vector this is the model this is the texture and the collider is box and we want it to be double sided okay so we started off with our ganesha idol uh, let's add the pillars uh, the two pillars so yeah let me do that real quick so yeah these are the pillars i'll explain you the first one the second one is the same only the position is changed so yeah, uh, once again, it's a entity, parent is seen, the scale is 0 0.002 and yeah, everything is same. Everything is exactly same here. We are only creating different entities. But before you go ahead and copy paste the code, just understand that what each parameters are because you tweak one parameter and your whole uh, scene will change, your whole look of that 3d model will change and you will be totally confused and panic commenting on my video i don't want that okay so first understand the code i'm not saying i won't provide the source code because who wants to write nowadays right let the youtube guy write anyways jokes aside yeah i will provide the source code but i would insist you to uh try it on your own use your own assets to give your own touch to the game okay it's a game it's not a homework so add your own touch add your own creativity to the game my videos are how to not how should you okay anyways no more pravachan now uh the last element that you have to add is the bed okay so let's do that real quick yeah so we have added the bed once again it's the same thing and uh, before you go ahead and write your code let me point out a few things that may create the errors okay so first is the path sometimes what happens is you write single slash okay whenever you copy from your file explorer you usually copy the single slash that is not the right uh, format that python accepts you need two slashes okay so add two slash and also the path here is with reference to uh, the path of the original file right like this is where my python program is okay this is the program name program like uh, okay let's take the example of pillar one okay so for pillar one we are saying to python okay go to assets from where go to assets from where the original python program is okay so it will find the folder assets okay it's there then go to stone pillars it will search for stone pillar yep it's there stone pillar then go to source go to source and this is your fbx file okay this is your 3d file okay same it will go for the texture also okay this is the texture and uh, by the way this is the credit to the original 3d model creator okay i will provide this text file with the source code and uh, wherever i'll provide this model data okay so uh, yeah let's quickly check if our program is working fine or not uh so yeah okay so the gun looks a bit weird maybe there's some uh, problem with that image file uh, but uh, that's not the aim of this video let's go and check out our room and yeah the walls are there the pillar is there and uh, our ganesha ji is also here so yep our game starts with the ganesha idol this is our bed these are the pillars these are the walls and they are textured on both the sides as you can see so yeah this was it this was the aim of this video before you go ahead i have a important announcement for you guys i'm thinking of starting live stream for members only and what will be this live stream all about it will basically be a sneak peek on how these projects are created okay 
how I think about these projects, how I research on these projects, how I write the code, how I edit the videos, everything sneak week, sneak peek will be provided for the members only. Okay, there won't be any exclusive content like any exclusive projects for our members but if you want to take a sneak peek of how these projects are created or how basically this channel works then yeah you can take the channel membership this channel's motto is to provide free content so yeah there won't be any uh, content behind the paywall like the actual projects but yeah if you want to take the sneak peek of how this channel works or how uh, these projects are created then yeah you can definitely check out a channel membership i'll start streaming after my member goes above two digits okay i still have really low members so there is no point in streaming now who will be watching those but yeah once they reach a good number two digit numbers We'll start having chat and uh, we'll start live streaming. Okay. So yeah, this is me and I'll meet you in my next lecture. Bye-bye.